Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm celebrating from home on coronavirus lockdown. Uh, hi, folks. Yeah, here we are doing live AP US history from home. So, folks, yeah, my plan is to keep recording these videos and send them out to you guys to keep you up on assignments and even to give some lessons and lectures and so that we can keep learning US history because, folks, it's never been about the AP exam. It's always been about becoming better, more well-rounded, and more complete human beings. So let's keep going, folks. Uh, for now, I plan on just doing stuff on Canvas and sending out these videos to get you going on assignments. Uh, at some point, I do hope that we can get together on a sort of Google Meets format so that we can all be live talking to each other. I wish I was looking out over a classroom full of kids in it right now. I really do, you guys. So I hope everyone is well. I hope you're all being safe and following the county regulations on staying locked down. But uh, folks, this video is just gonna give you a few updates on where we're going with the class. Uh, and then I'll be sending another one out later, finishing up our Roaring Twenties lesson that we started last week. Uh, and then later in the week, I'll be getting you another longer uh, lesson on boom and bust, it's called. And it's uh, the story of the Great Depression and what caused it moving through the twenties and thirties. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, folks, who's got news? <laughs> if we were together, I'd be calling on you, but uh, folks, since we're not together, I've decided to do a Canvas discussion about news. So as you can see here, I've got one going. It's just called Who's Got News? And what I'd like you guys to do is instead of raising your hand and presenting news stories in class, link to a news story on this discussion forum on Canvas. And it's actually an assignment, so it's worth five points that you, uh, at some point in the next month, link a news story that you think everybody should be focusing on. And uh, um, and then you can comment on other people's. So, uh, folks, and I'll be reading through uh, the feed to pull out news stories to maybe talk about in my videos as well. But, uh, you know, right now the news is obvious. It's all about the markets and coronavirus and all that. Uh, let's check in with the market. I mean, gosh, this is the last three months. So, do down, down, down. We are obviously in recession territory. We are in crash territory. Uh, today was a little better. Bounce back a little bit based on some stimulus that the government has been announcing. So yeah, one of the big stories that of course I'm following in part because it relates to our Great Depression lesson. So as we study the Great Depression this week, we're going to be looking at parallels, which sadly there are plenty of. Um, but yeah, when the government steps up to try to uh, help in a crashing economy like this, there's generally two areas that they can focus on. Uh, one is fiscal, and as you can see, they're doing both here. One is fiscal, which is that you just throw money at it. Uh, Democrats, Republicans, and Trump all seem to be agreeing upon $850 billion dollars in aid. Um, they're talking about getting checks straight out to people. They're increasing spending on food stamps, uh, shoring up unemployment insurance. So anybody who loses their job in this should get paid still. Um, so yeah, they're cutting taxes. So when we talk about fiscal stimulus, we're talking about spending more, taxing less to give people more money to hopefully stir the economy. Uh, the other big way in which the government uh, tries to boost the economy is through the Federal Reserve. So you can see the Fed is shoring up credit markets by basically dropping interest rates to zero, making it super easy for people to borrow money. The Fed is in fact actively going out there trying to lend people money to make sure that they can get through this crisis. So uh, yeah, we'll look even closer at those when we start talking about the Great Depression because you know the reality was is that they didn't do much when the crash hit in 1929. Uh, so hopefully our government has learned from it. Um, so yeah, that's a story that I'm keeping an eye on, but whatever you guys are interested in and reading about, post them up on Canvas. Uh, and, and we'll keep doing that. Uh, let's see, folks. Um, other news, the Market Watch game. If you are interested in playing, we are still running it. I'd love to see more of my A-Push kids in there. So, uh, yeah, we've got this game going. I'm, of course, winning. But, uh, you know, I'd love to see you guys. Uh, extra credit for whoever's ahead in the class. So even if, if only a few A-Push kids join this game, you're very likely to become a winner. But, uh, yeah, in order to join, let me put up the slide. For that, here's our leaderboard. We got Ian is tearing into second place here, catching up to me. Uh, doesn't look like any of you guys are on there yet. So if you are interested in playing the markets in these desperate trying times in the market, uh, here it is, here's the info. So you go to marketwatch.com, uh, you create a login, you've got to confirm your email. And then uh, from there, you type in that URL after you've logged in. And then you, it says join the game, you click on that, and then the password is Wildcat. 
So super easy thing to do, and then you get $100,000 to play with on the markets. It's a, it's a great experience, so make sure you guys are all doing that. Uh, beyond that, guys, course updates. Um, the stories of 1919, um, obviously half of you didn't get a chance to tell those stories. What I would love is to see you guys tell them digitally. So as I'm doing now, you guys could do from home as well. Now I know that's somewhat of a lot to ask, um, but here are our presentations. You know, to make it easy, you could avoid filming yourself. You could just film the actual presentation, even just from a computer screen, clicking through the slides, and you would just tell the story and we'd hear your audio over it. Uh, you wouldn't have to set it up so you have the screen and yourself in the picture. If you do not want, it'd be great if you did. We'd love to see you. Um, even if one member of your 1919 stories group did this, I would give you both credit uh, for sure, because I know that you're probably not getting together to work. Uh, but if you can talk with whoever you're working with and see if one of you is willing to do it, it'd be great, because then I could post your stories on Canvas and everyone can see them. Um, otherwise, I'll be asking you to do a summary of those stories. So I'll explain all that in Canvas, so check it out. Um, YNTKs, yes, 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 we are, of course, keeping up with those. We have our schedule here on Canvas. Um, so you guys should be on done with chapter 32 by now. Um, so yeah, folks, we're gonna keep this up. There's nothing better to do during coronavirus lockdown than read that beautiful A-Push book of ours. So keep going on that. Uh, we are planning on taking our Air 7 exam on 4-2, April 2nd. Uh, and yeah, that'll be remotely from Canvas. So I'm gonna put the whole test into Canvas and open up a window for you guys to take it. Uh, it should be really fun. So make sure you're keeping up with uh, the YNTKs. Um, yeah, so as far as that, we've got the online discussion, we've got this. Um, I'm working on your all's DBQs. They are great, it's been fun to read them. I'm still plugging away on grading your DBQs and I will be giving you extensive feedback on those uh, moving forward as well. Uh, so yeah, folks, uh, stay tuned for a lesson later today about the Roaring Twenties. We're gonna finish up what we started in class, just a quick um, scan through some of what's left in that lesson. Uh, and then soon thereafter, I'll be starting to post a series of videos to get our What Caused the Great Depression lesson done. Um, and yeah, with that, we're looking towards another DBQ. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So I'm gonna be assigning a DBQ on what caused the Great Depression. It'll be, of course, done at home and turned in through Canvas. Uh, that's about all I have for updates right now. Um, I do miss you guys terribly. I hope everybody's staying well. I hope you're on lockdown and I hope you're with your family. I hope you're being nice to your family because I'm sure uh, you are all getting a little bit stir crazy. Um, but I miss